Okay, so a lot of teachers were talking about an invigilation timetable and I asked in the group if anyone had some software or how they were doing invigilation timetables because it kind of seems to end up on the CAT teacher's table or the IT teacher's table to do this. So I created my own one and I thought I'd show you what I've done and I'm going to make it available to you to download and edit and play with as much as you like. I'll just talk you through what I created. So uh, here I have an Excel workbook, uh, the template I'll show you later. I have a data uh, tab or data worksheet. I've just got the grades and then the number is how many students we have per grade. And then here is my students per invigilator. In other words, this is how many invigilators I can have for every, so for every 25 students, I need one invigilator. That's what we've gone with. Then I've got a times table. Okay. And I've, from here on, I work pretty much in tables. Everything's in tables. Very, very powerful. Only work in tables. Trust me, it'll help you. So I've got time and I just got from 7.30 down to 6 o'clock just to cover all the times in half hour sections. I've got an invigilators table. Here it is here. So that's all of our staff for all the invigilators. Then I've got the subjects, the subjects count. Now the subjects count is every subject that we have and then each grade and then the number of students taking that subject per grade. So the reason it's in a table again is because it's really easy to just filter stuff. If I just want to look at accounting, I can just look at accounting. And then of course you can create pivot tables or pivot charts straight out of this, which is really, really nice. So that's the other thing that I've done. So all the subjects, every grade, the number of students per grade. This is important because you want to know how many invigilators to have per session. Then we have content. Now, this is what is based on the exam timetable. Okay, so I received the exam timetable and then I built this from the exam timetable. So this gives me the date, the grade, the subject that they are writing, which paper it is. I then put that together if it's paper one or paper two. There is a reason for this later on. The start time, the end time, how long the exam is, how many students. Now, this is all automatically done for me, okay? I'll show you how. I've got an ID that I create, just an autofill from 100 onwards. I'm using that later with a VLOOKUP. I've got the date, I've got the grade, which then looks up the grade from my uh, the data worksheet that I had earlier. The subject, <coughs> excuse me, shows me just a drop-down list of all the subjects, again, chosen from the the where was it the subjects count so i just use the table there the paper the full name is just a concat function joining the name of the subject and the paper so that it, it reads correctly start time end time exam length is basically working out uh, on its own the start time and the end time that gives me the exam length and of course the number of students this is a little bit more complicated this one You'll see that um, I'm looking at if it's grade eight, then I'm then I look for particular information. Otherwise, I'm going to match it according to the the subject. So have a look at this. <laughs> it got a little bit crazy. Let me just uh, open this up here. Uh, there we go. Look at that. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I'll let you play with that and figure that out. Okay. There there was logic in it. It actually works very well. And I did do that on my own. I promise. Um, okay. So here we have the entire, all the exams, all the dates, starting time, ending time. It is very important to have this data correct. Everything gets worked out from this, okay? So that's important. Then I've got the, the stats info. This is simply just the staff. Here they are here, and it then works out for each person. Oh, let me just unprotect this. It then works out for each person the number of hours. It counts the number of hours in my uh, invigilation table. That's why it's really good to have tables because it can actually just count stuff very, very quickly. I've also got macros here so I can sort this descending. I can sort it ascending or just A to Z and see where everyone is at. Okay. 
I used a color code just to show like the red and orange is like a lot of hours. The sort of, is that like a light orangey color? That's sort of in the middle where we want everyone to really be. And then the green is uh, fewer hours than the rest. Now we get into the invigilation. This is where you do the work of putting everyone in, okay? The good news is that all you have to do, so for example, here we have Friday the 1st of November. And if I just punch in the exam code here, you can see I've just got a light 100 there. The 100 comes from here, from the content. Let me go up here. There's the 100, right? So there's the ID. All I do is put in the ID, it reads the grade, it reads the exam, the duration, and everything here is calculated automatically for me, including the number of invigilators. Here you can see we have three invigilators necessary for this exam, plus another two invigilators for that exam. This is the only manual part here, this section here. This is the manual part that you would do as a teacher. I'm trying to figure out how we can make it easier another time. Again, drop down list of all the staff names are here. I've got checks in place. So if we put somebody's name um, by accident, uh, you know, in the same slot, they can't be in the same slot twice at the same time. So it highlights. So I've got a lot of conditional formatting in place to make sure that we uh, don't put people on at the same time. They need to be obviously different slots. We've got uh, automatic adding up of all the students for that day, the number of invigilators that we need for that day. And then, of course, if you have a reserve teacher on standby, again, a drop down list over there. Everything is drop down lists. Everything is conditional formatting. Type in the code and it fills it all in for you. So if I change that to like 105, I don't even know what 105 is, but did it work? I don't even know. Oh, it did. Haha, <laughs> 104, uh, 108, voila. And you can see it does that automatically. Everything is calculated automatically. And that is that. It works the same with session two. And uh, the last one, just to make it nice and easy for for the teachers, they the first thing they want to do is find out like where their, their, their slots are. A little highlight my name button here. So you click highlight my name. You type in your surname, because that's what we've gone with, surnames. Click OK. It runs through the whole document, and then it highlights all of the cells that contain your surname. Super awesome. I know. So that, in a nutshell, is that. I am going to make this available with everything unlocked and open. You're going to have to edit it for your own situation. I'm giving it to you as is, and you can edit it for your own situation, put in your own numbers, etc. Everything else should work. So enjoy. I hope it works for you. Here is a template. So I forgot to mention the template. Here is the template, and you can just copy and paste that over and over again, however many times you need it. There's the date slot there. And it prints very well. I've also done it, if you have a look at the invigilation, when you do go to a print preview, you'll see that I've actually put in the correct breaks so that it will print perfectly. There you go. Let's look at the next page and we wait patiently. There we go. And you can see there each page is perfectly formatted to print exactly what you need. Look at that. And another one. I'm sure we got one with two days on, but there are some of them. Okay. Good luck. Enjoy. And uh, I hope you have fun working with it. Thank you.